So these coupling, uh, aero, aero coupling reactions um, have been hugely important to chemistry and there have been a lot of variations that have arisen. One of those variations is called the Buckwald-Hartwig reaction. Two separate sci scientists, uh, Buckwald and Hartwig. And uh, just for reference, remember, we're comparing these to the idea that we take an aryl halide and an aryl metal and react them with a palladium catalyst and get this by aryl. Well, um, what Buckwald, Buckwald and Hartwig thought was that you know, we could make a change to this. So during this reaction, you get an aryl palladium halide from insertion of the palladium into the aryl X bond. And then the other aromatic ring as an anion attacks the palladium and basically does a substitution and that sets up gets everything on the palladium and then the palladium says goodbye, does a reductive elimination and you make the biaryl. And the idea came up that what if your nucleophile on this instead of being the aromatic ring was something like an amine which is also a nucleophile. That could give you attached to, to the palladium your original aromatic ring. I'm going to drop a hydrogen and now this amine will attach to your hydrogen. I'm sorry, attach to your palladium. And now if the palladium will still do what it's supposed to do and leave, undergo the reductive elimination, now you put an amino group on your ring. And in fact, this reaction works, and it works really well. Uh, it took a long time to figure out the exact details, but you can take an aryl halide and react it with an amine with a palladium catalyst, and you can put that amino group right on a benzene ring in place of the halide. So let, let's see a specific example. This is just um, bromobenzene, and let's react this with an amine. This amine can have multiple R groups on the nitrogen. And so here's a six-membered ring with a nitrogen. We treat this with palladium zero. There are likely other reaction conditions, but that, that fits the model that we're following. And what happens is you get the amino group right on the benzene ring. So this isn't making carbon-carbon bonds. Instead, it's making carbon-nitrogen bonds. Note that this looks like an SN2. It is not an SN2. SN2 reactions happen when a nucleophile attacks an alkyl halide. This is an aryl halide. That is an sp 2 hybridized carbon that bears the leaving group. So this is not an SN2 reaction. It's a completely different pathway. What is the pathway? Well, it goes through that catalytic cycle that we drew out um, for this uh, palladium catalyzed reaction. So this is really just a variation on these aryl aryl couplings. Instead of having a nucleophile being a carbon of an aromatic ring, the nucleophile is an amine. And it's really an ingenious twist, and it works very well, and it is a wildly popular reaction.